So since I've been wanting to go to Karnataka, I started learning Kannada a while ago, just so I would know like how to speak to local people. If I ever went to Bengaluru, Mysore. So at my university, I tried to connect with people who speak Kannada and just making connections, I would hope that I could learn the language better. And while there are a lot of international students there, I could only find native Telugu speakers, native Tamil speakers, and even Malayalam speakers. But I couldn't find anybody who spoke Kannada, at least not as a native. And I was so confused because I knew Karnataka was a huge state and it's bigger than a lot of other states like Mal uh, Kerala, uh, Telangana, and a lot of northern states. So I was a little bit confused. And then I realized that there aren't that many people in Karnataka that actually speak Kannada as a native language. And that kind of blew my mind. So I looked at I looked online, like, what is the number of native speakers who speak all these languages and how many people actually speak them? For Canada, there are about 43.7 million native speakers. And in addition to that, there are 15 million language two speakers, like people who learn it as their second language. Uh, maybe third language. So that puts it at 34.32% of Canada speakers are non-native speakers. They did not grow up speaking that. Uh, for Telugu, for example, uh, it's a much more widely spoken language. So about 81 million uh, are native speakers and 11 million have learned the language. That puts it at 13.6%, uh, 13.6% speak that as a second language or third language. Uh, and then for Tamil, it's even less. There are 78 million speakers of Tamil and 8 million uh, learners, putting it at about 10%, and 10% for non-native speakers who speak it. and. For Malayalam, it's only about 38 million people who speak the language, but only about 2% um, of native speakers, 700,000, uh, have learned it as a second language. So, so that made me think, okay, there are all these people in Karnataka, it's a big state, why aren't they speaking Kannada? And I found there are a lot of other uh, languages in the state, like... Konkani, Kodugu, and then there's this language I saw called Tulu. And I got real interested in that because I've actually known a couple people who speak Tulu. So I looked at it and I didn't didn't really realize how like how small of a group of people speak Tulu. It's only about 1.8 million people, which is not a lot compared to other languages. So Tulu is uh, spoken in the coastal area of Karnataka, like Dakshina Kannada, Mangalore, Udupi, um, pretty much the north coast of Malabar. And it's a beautiful area. Like, look look at some of these pictures. Uh, wow. Like, look at that. Who wouldn't want to live there? So I got real interested in, like, what is this Tulu language? It's a Dravidian language, just like Kannada, just like Tamil, Malayalam, but it seems to me to be pretty different from Kannada, even though it's in Karnataka. Uh, so that was interesting. What's also interesting is it's not an officially recognized language. Uh, you don't see it on any of the notes, on the currency notes. You don't really see it on Google Translate, which is surprising because with 1.8 million speakers, it's a lot more people than some other languages on Google Translate, such as 
Mizo from Mizoram or Galatian from Spain or even Hawaiian from Hawaii and Latin they have Latin on Google Translate that's an extinct language so you know hopefully we'll be able to see this on Google Translate one day now if it's not recognized language if it's not being translated on the internet what's gonna happen is it doomed is it a, is it gonna go away it's not going anywhere because there's already a legacy created by the tulu film industry there's written works in tulu which in the past have been written in tulu lipi the tulu script and while people don't really use it that much nowadays uh it still it still shows that there's tangible stuff that's not going anywhere and um people are gonna keep using it another thing i've noticed even since the, even if there's not a, a lot of resources online that teach the language formally there are a lot of people making tulu videos uh tulu vlogs just having that on the internet is going to make it so much easier for people to recognize the language and learn it. So yeah, I thought that language is important to mention. I thought it was also important to mention what kind of what I realize is Karnataka is one of the most uh, linguistically diverse states. Just because someone's from Karnataka doesn't mean they speak uh, Kannada. Maybe they do, but it might not be their native language. Now that I've known that, I I want to learn Tulu in addition to Kannada uh, before I ever go to Karnataka and hopefully I'll be able to talk to people before then and learn both the languages.